So I'm uh, Johanna Batman, and I'm going to be talking to you a little bit about hyperart, and specifically Thomason, something I know very little about, but I find fascinating. Um, and I think the best way to sort of describe a Thomason is uh, an architectural element that's become useless because of urban development and, and sort of change. So uh, this is the artist who sort of invented the, the Thomason, Japanese artist, and um, perhaps most famous in, in the 60s for printing fake currency and receiving a, a commuted sentence from the Japanese government. Um, but uh, he was a, a writer and a, and a very prolific artist. So uh, what, what is a Thomason? This, this is not probably actually a Thomason, but it's a candidate. So these, these are elements that have become useless, and so, but are still maintained and cared for. So this has been carefully painted, even though it evidently has not been used in several years. So I like to think of Thomases as, as being sort of a, a vestigial structure. So like your wisdom teeth, uh, your, your appendix, your tailbone, or goosebumps, they're, they're leftovers because you've evolved and changed through time. And, and similarly, Thomasons are, are those remnants, the, the leftovers. Uh, Gary Thomason is a baseball player who has the very dubious honor of, of being the namesake of the Thomason. He was traded to the Yomiuri Giants in Japan and thereafter became known as the human fan because he struck out so consistently. So he was paid a very generous sum to do absolutely nothing. His body was maintained even though it produced no results. Um, so it kind of inspired by my readings this winter, I started exploring Pittsfield for signs of Thomasons. So this is uh, the beginning of my journey near the hospital where I, I currently reside. Uh, so welcome to Pittsfield. You are about to explore it through the eyes of Thomasons. Eve Thomasons are one of the easiest to spot. So uh, generally. Uh, disused windows and doorways that have been bricked up, but mysteriously the sills remain, uh, serving no apparent function, but looking quite pretty. And so this is an assortment of ones that I've found just on casual walks along North Street. Atomic Thomasons, also known as Hickey Thomasons, which I kind of prefer because the atomic refers to the shadows of human beings that were annihilated in uh, nuclear bombs. But you can see the shadows of buildings. These are my personal favorites because they sort of hint at that uh, remains of a, a building that lo longer is there. Aerial Thomasons, I kind of think of as the Pikachus of Thomasons. They're very rare and very exciting when you find them. Uh, so you can see these uh, doors that no longer are used, but, but still remain installed, but in this case with a little safety gate, which sort of draws their, their Thomason status into question a little bit. Uh, this was another Ariel Thomason that I uh, was pursuing behind the YMCA. Um, and this actually highlights one of the, the dangers, one of the perils of hunting for Thomasons. Um, the, the artist who, who first sort of invented these, described it as, as, you know, creeping around neighborhoods kind of like a pervert because you're, you're walking along these back alleys. I had to walk straight into a parking lot. I knew it was a dead end. I felt really weird about myself, but I really needed that photograph. And so I'm like creeping along with my iPhone, like getting that Thomason. Uh, I, I was using my dog as a prop shamelessly. Um, Another, another more kind of insidious danger of hunting for Thomasons, though, is that it starts to sort of draw your attention to decay around you. And Pittsfield is a really uh, a, a interesting, an interesting city. I love it, but there are a lot of dead ends. And uh, you, you start hunting for them, and you kind of fall down a rabbit hole. And it, it sort of uh, drew to my mind a report I think probably a lot of you have read by the uh, Berkshire Regional Planning Survey, I believe, last year, saying about 450 people are leaving Berkshire County every year. Uh, we've experienced a 15% drop in our school enrollments in the past 10 years, projected to rise to 28% uh, by 2030. And, and you start to feel like you're, you're being sucked into a time warp. I can't tell you how many people, when I first moved to Pittsfield, uh, said, oh, right, Pittsfield, isn't that where there used to be that General Electric plant? And I was like, yeah, way before I was born. Like, there's other stuff going on. Um, but, you, you know, right when, when it's sort of darkest, you come across a candy cane, uselessly attached to the back of a building. And so this is a really sort of glum, depressing scene. 
uh, in a, a side street off of, of North Street in Pittsfield. But there's this wonderful, sublime, ridiculous candy cane. Um, and, and this is one of the best instances of a Thomason. This is a pure sidewalk. It serves no function. That overhead is only about two and a half feet off the ground. <laughs> it serves no purpose. But that's because of sort of change and evolution and the development of the city and a city in transition that's growing and it's vibrant. And so these are, these are, are not just signs of decay, they're vestigial structures. And so you start to look at these uh, cityscapes with sort of a new eye for the beauty in, in the ridiculousness. Um, and really Thomasons are an art form. And so you start exploring the city hunting for little hidden bits of artwork that you never appreciated before um, in, you know, muddy parking lots in January and Thomasons within Thomasons. It was bricked up, opened up, and bricked up again. <laughs> uh, and this past summer, I, I took my, my um, Thomason Hunt International. I took my first trip to Japan, uh, back to the source, and walking down Side Street in Kyoto, back door, walk down the steps, fall into a ditch. <laughs> Incredible, they are everywhere. And so uh, I wanna end up with this slide, the same one I began with. This is uh, the beautiful view out of my living room window, uh, looking at the back of the family dollar. Uh, but I look at it with new eyes now. Look at the gorgeous Eve Thomasons along the side of that building. Uh, and suddenly even the family dollar becomes a work of art. So thank you.